I was 13 years old when I saw a radio show done once, and I said to my father, who was in the cosmetic business at that time, I think I'd like to go in the radio business. Shortly thereafter, four years later, he quit his job and went to one of the radio stations so he could give me a hand along the way, and at 17, I got my first check doing what I ended up doing the rest of my life. And I was thinking while I was growing up, I had two idols. One of them was a fellow named Arthur Godfrey. I just loved the way he, he talked. He didn't address anybody, he just talked. And uh, the other was a fellow named Bill Cullen, who I admired greatly because he did so much and I have sort of a frenetic attitude toward things and I just loved to be busy. Other than that, our lives didn't bump into one another very often, except when Pyramid came along. He did the nighttime, nighttime version, I did the daytime version. But I did know one thing in looking up in the calendar. In 1956, Bill started doing uh, The Price is Right. And in 1956, I started doing American Bands then. Over the years, Bill has done 25 or more game shows. And there is no better master of it than that. And when you consider 25 game shows, every time a different format, a different rundown, a different set of rules, a different boss, a different network, and he just walked in and made it look so easy. I mean, the whole secret of any success on television is being accepted and making people feel comfortable and uh, hopefully they like you. People didn't just like Bill, they adored him, they loved him as I did. And uh, I don't have a lot of answer. <laughs> I don't have a lot of intimate memories of Bill other than to say that I idolize the man and he is, he is one of those guys that I just cherish my memories of. Because when he did a version of Pyramid and I did, there was no jealousy. When he was on the show, I was a little nervous because it's so damn good. Uh, <laughs> scared the living daylights out of me because when I was in a room with him, I was, I was nervous. And I don't get sweaty palms very often, but uh, I just cherish that man. And he was the master of them all. He, there, somebody said earlier, uh, I, I know, paraphrased, Bill Cullen was a one of a kind. There never will be another one. There's never anybody like him. And uh, he deserves this honor with great fondness. Thank you.